Ja, ska vi se hur snabbt det är till pucken kommer. Jag släpper inte för att vi är klara. Lycka till, ner med klubborna. Kör vi. And we are underway. The puck is down and the game begins. The black and yellow, the home team, Shalaftio, the white and green, the visitors from Engelholm. Bouncing puck to the wing. Zirkals catches up to it, is clattered to the boards. Tambellini pressuring a little bit there to try and get it loose here. Zirkals nearly broke to the net. Puck slides in the corner, picked up by Lindstrom. From below the goal line to out in front. Salmonson to the side of the net, and the player is down. And a whistle blows. 31 seconds in. It's the occasion. Wild early moments here in game five. Across the line, Zara. Seven goals in the playoffs. None in the finals yet. Three force on the wing. Below the goal line. Around it goes. Klaassen in to wrap it around. And nobody home on the other side. They'll just let it run. Sandberg bringing it as far as center. And it'll come to Klaassen. Teams met four times in the regular season. Shalaftio won all four. And they lead 3-1 here in this final. The matchup in the playoffs much closer than the matchup in the regular season, however. Shalaftio outscoring Rolo 17-7 in taking all four games in the regular season. Talked about it here. It's three games to one. Every game decided by a goal. And then he's on a two-game point streak with a goal and an assist in the last two outings. Elias Salmonson also the point in each of the last two games. He's got two assists over that stretch. Here they come again. Hoog with a wrist shot. And it's up and into the netting. Dennis Everberg run into there. Anton Aiken and blocking his path. Arvid Lindberg, a bank job off the boards into neutral. Now they're going to get over the line with a little pace, and the wrist shot will bounce into the corner. Back to the line, Elias Salmonson out to the left. Arvid Lundberg looking, Salmonson driving. It doesn't come his way. And he'll go back to the blue line as Rugla picks it up. Brady Ferguson ahead. Chasing the puck in the corner, Lena Sandin checks his man, comes to the line, Clausen fires, goes just wide, Salmonson collects. Second round pick of the Winnipeg Jets, Ilya Salmonson. Back for Axel Sandin Pelica, boy, what an embarrassment of riches when it comes to talented young defensemen for this Shaleftio team. Jonathan Janssen on 10 points in these playoffs, tied with Oscar Lindberg for the team lead. Gary Inela from London leads the playoffs with 15. Here it comes. Brady Ferguson with a shot and a good save there from Soderstrom. And they smooth things over. Shalaftio when scoring first in the finals, 3-0 and 11-0 in the playoffs when they get the first one there. Vying for it here. Salmonson to the end boards, hammered by Davidson. Was around to the far side, put towards the net. Played ahead, and here is Ferguson. Gingerly into the corner from the American. Collected there. And around for Arvid Lindberg, who's having a terrific playoff. Eight points in the postseason for Lindberg, best amongst defenders. Among the league leaders on his team in general and uh, playing a lot of minutes, 22 minutes, 20 seconds on average in this final. Axel Sandin Pelica next in minutes played in the final for Shalafteo as he snaps a pass ahead. And here goes Reforce to center. Into Shalafteo Ice, Reforce. As Granberg falls, takes it around to the other side for Zephter. Simon Zephter, draft eligible player this year. NHL draft, that is. Good size and getting some valuable experience as a young player. Engstrom on the puck. What a good young player he is. Third round selection of the Canadians. In the corner, Bowlby. Now back to the line it goes, and the puck just wouldn't settle. Gillespie completing a change. Elias Salmonson had his pass deflect. 
Comes back the way of the youngster, and he gets it on for Lindbergh. Onto the wing, they're across the line. Hug putting it to the boards. Taken by Lindbergh. At the line, Salmonson dealing with a bit of a rolling puck. Deep for Hug. Philip Sandberg in control. Sends it to the line. In behind the net, Lindbergh looking for a man out in front. Sends it to the bottom of the circle. And now the slapper from distance will carry him to the corner. And suddenly a four-shot edge for Shalafti have done everything but score first here. Salmonson again as they buzz in over the line. Andreas Janssen feeling it. Kepler. A hand on the wing, Bowlby cruising through the neutral zone. He got it over the line, but was squeezed out of the play. Back to pick it up, Bixel. Watched very closely by Lindbergh. Bixel on the boards. Bowlby ready and waiting, but with a fight on his hands, we'll just get it a foot or two outside the line. Elia Salmonson. Axel Sandin Pelica. Randine Pelica. Axel Sandine Pelica sharing it there with Salmonson. Fired ahead on the wing. Driving down that right side. Hakenen. Hakenen away from the checking pressure. Looking for an outlet. He sent it back to Salmonson. And they'll reorganize, look ahead, and play on. Into the last minute. Of the opening period as the whistle blows. Nein, 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 nein. Stilla, er kommt mit dem Slapper. Push Schweiz has what to show up. Hey, Stilla, 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 Stilla. Intensity right there from the get go in period two, as you would expect with so much riding on the game. Good view from the ref cam there and a little audio as well. The players so focused. This one sent towards the net is knocked down. That's Tambellini with it. He goes off the boards and around. And Castell Janssen plays it on the wing. Czar reflecting it ahead. And it will go all the way down the ice. <laughs> Andreas Janssen around to the far side. At the line. Handled there by Salmonson. Salmonson sent it forward. And it goes just off the mark. From the kick plate. To the stick by Hakenen. Anton Hakenen out of... Mora and Hockey Alsvenskan trying to contribute here as it comes to the front of the net off the stick of Lindbergh. Back together and ahead it goes. Lindbergh knifing it in. Refall can't get to it. Hoog has it knocked off his blade. Sandberg there to support him. Salmonson. Lindbergh, Oscar fires off a shin pad in front. And this is a lot more of the same from period one. Rogov really having a tough time getting into Shemeftio Ice and staying there for any length of time. Salmonson on his offside sends one to the far side. Played in and they'll get a change. Long change, second period. From a Rogov standpoint, you wonder if this is just what they have to fight through and then get themselves into the game knowing that Shalafti has got a chance to close out the title on home ice and will be cranked up to get themselves in front but this is more than just a good start from Shalafti this is a real edge in play and there in a man in front Kapla down he'll get up limping that's a sore one for Kapla and to try and keep moving but it's not easy Janssen, Janssen now goes down, and Bixel will go to the box as the whistle blows. That's a tough one for the Rogla deep pair. Oscar Nielsen and Linus Lindstrom with the assists on the power play goal at 9.08. Now things take on added importance. Can Chilefto extend the advantage and really set themselves up? Will Rogla be able to punch back? That difficulty generating offense in the game. Halfway through, they've got six shots. This has not been the way things have typically gone for Rogue, but certainly prior to the final, but even in the finals. Soderstrom out, takes a bit of time here. Ends up getting it to Nielsen on the boards for Hood. And then lifted high. Fired in by Ferguson, and it'll skip and bounce. It'll come to Everberg. Everberg rimming it around. 
Billion and down from the line and then over his stick and Bixel takes. Keep an eye out for Michael Kapler who was stung by that slap shot a little earlier in the period. Forward pass from Bixel intercepted by Jonathan Jonsson. He's over the line. 6-1 on goal and Reefall fights that away. To go in the second period. 14 more shots in the period for Shalafio than for Roglic. Teams now back at even strength. Simon Robertson into the corner. He's checked by Reforsch. Angstrom on the puck. On the wall. Tambolini can't find it. Haken and wrist shot saved there by Reefold. And he'll hold it. Continues. Now the structure back in place for both teams. From the far side to the near side, Lundberg looking to the net. Lundberg heading in, gets the shot, saved by Riefalk, and he will hold it. Shalafi, remember, used to scoring power play goals. They've got 61 for the year. Long lead pass now as the teams get back to even strength. Heavy check there from Reed Porsche. Czar gathering it in. He goes to the line. Bouncing puck swatted in front. Sent wide by Tambellini. Stuffed by Reed Porsche. Rogler looking for an equalizer. Bounces away from Kapla. Simon Robertson dropping it off. He missed Hakenen. And here comes Rogler ahead. Czar's got the line. Now he'll play it to the front of the net. It was behind Tambellini. coming penalties wise big face off win down the ice from the black and yellow and that's met with warm applause and Gastel Janssen maneuvers to the red line stops just before the blue line picked up on the wing Sunspeak who scored a big goal earlier on in the series scored the 1-1 goal in period one back on Thursday Team would come up short, but at the time, a critical response from Rogel. They need a response here. At the line, the pass deflects off a skate. Ekestal Janssen backtracks. 24 seconds to go on the advantage into the last half minute of the second period. Ekestal Janssen finds the wing. Sunspeak trying to make a little room. Looks to the side, plays it around, and taken by Sandine. Can they get a shot here? Long distance drive turned away. Kaplan first to the puck. Max Lindholm makes him back up. Now the penalty is over. They're across the line, but they're offside. Period three begins. Back into the Schleftio zone it goes. Taken by Elias Salmonson. He goes to the boards. Lindberg knocked it ahead. And now it will come out to neutral territory on the wing intended for Zirkals. Zirkals taking on a larger role in the absence of Dylan Sakura due to injury. We've seen the young defenseman, Axel Sandin Pelica, and Elias Salmonson taking up more ice in the absence of Jonathan Kudos. Shemafteo has faced a variety of adversities and has found a way to get a win away from claiming the title. Lindbergh. To his left, taking it back, trying to split the D, looking to get in, and couldn't get a shot away. That had some promise to it, and Rogla snuffing it out. And they're going to find a way through this. The penalty killing, giving themselves a chance in this game. One out of four now in the power play. Four to Shellafdale. Still a one goal lead, despite the 21 shot difference between the teams. Back to five on five. Kapla trying to deal with Haken and has the puck, knocks it loose. Ferguson to the boards. And now it'll come around. Up the right side they go. Sunspeak over the line and across. Takes the shot and it zips high. And see that a good one go. Kapla keeping it going. Gets the puck to Boldy. Boldy away from Lundberg. He holds on back to the point. Kapla weaving a little. And then it's off his blade in the neutral territory advantage. Reforsch looking on anxiously. Picked up by Bixel. He steers it out. Salmonson 
to Lindbergh. Taken by Salmonson, skated into trouble. Jonathan Janssen collects at the edge of his goal. He sweeps it ahead. And the teams are back to even strength. So a second power play here in the third period, and empty-handed on both occasions for Chalefteo. Both of them reorganized and behind the goal. A lot of special teams time in the game, and as a result, some players have not seen a lot of ice. There's Anton Olsen, who had an assist on that overtime winner Saturday. Haven't seen a lot of them. Into the corner, Salmonson. Plays the puck up the boards. Scoot back and organize. Inks neutral site, or in two cases, on home ice for their opponents. In over the line, Everbird dropping it back, taken by Reforsch. Reforsch looking for a way to link up. He gets it to Zar. Zar playing it off. Kapla shooting it. That slides wide. Over to pick it up. Zar, quick pass, finds Kapla. Kapla with a little room to operate between the circles. Now Zar and into the glove of Soderstrom. In his career, and this year is certainly no exception. Third in the regular season behind Feriestad and Bekwa. And here among the last two standing, just a win away from the team's fourth title. Three points. Hankstrom. Across the halfway stripe. They're in over the line. Engstrom dropping it off. Taken by Zarr. Into the circle. Reforsch getting it to Engstrom. He shoots. There's a big block. Still in the zone. Four on four. They skate. Time winding down in the four on four. Move to the wing. Responsible puck management here from Shaneftil. And now they find themselves on the advantage. The left field, three power plays in the last period. This is the third in the third. The goal and then quickly out for the bang bang finish. And it nearly came off. Four seconds now to go in the latest power play for Shaleftio. Tambellini is freed and the team's now back at even strength. One for six in the game for Shaleftio. Skate five aside. Less than nine minutes to go in the third. And across the line, Zahr with a move. Didn't quite get free. Lundberg got a piece of him. To the point, Eckestel Janssen fires. Bounces wide. Came right out in front. And she left there, able to get a clearance. On the verge of 40 shots now for Shalafdil. A dozen for Robla. Austin around the boards. Pushes it out to the center ice area. Abels finds. Sends it in deep. Lindbergh body. Played along the boards. Can they get it forward here? Hoog to the area near the line, but not out. Now it comes to Sensvik. A shot attempt there from Klaassen ends up going to the corner. He got to a good spot. Just didn't get the contact he was looking for. Snaps it up the wall. Taken there by Rifosh. For a way to move it on. He'll get it to Eckestal Janssen, the defender joining the rush. Tambellini. Eckestal Janssen down low. Backhand pass in front. And it comes to the goal mouth. Soderstrom dropping down to hold on. They have been the dominant team in the game. Wide edge and shots. Wide edge and chances. But Rogla trying to pull it out and they buzz around the goal. Along the boards, it's pushed. By the green and white, gathering though, Salmonson comes to Lindbergh. These guys have formed such an effective pair on the blue line. Now ahead, Kapla misses it. Little off balance, knocks it back. And they'll start ahead. Here comes Ferguson. In over the line, Salmonson pushing the puck to the boards. Angstrom walking to the middle. Angstrom tied up. Sandberg can't catch up to it. Lindbergh does. Oscar Lindbergh. Forcing Rogla back and trying to find a way forward. Long shoot in. Knocked down by Soderstrom. Still free. Max Lindholm played it. Even here they are in the final. Just over four minutes. 
from lifting of a man trophy. Oh, in December, out of a playoff position. Made managerial and coaching changes. Still struggled, found a way down the stretch, and then put together something special. Three wins to end the regular season to assure themselves of a playoff spot. Just ninth of the ten teams getting in. And then they rattled off ten consecutive wins in the playoffs. They were perfect coming into this final. They run into an impressive Sheffield team who's got them on the ropes here. Three ball got a foot and make a change. They're gonna get everything they've got now. There's no doubt about it. Engstrom over the line. Into the corner he goes. Plays the puck behind the net. Czar there. Skips from him. Gathering on the end boards. Lindbergh breaks the stick. Zirk calls off the wall. Not out. Long shot. Doesn't get to the goal. Foot race to try and get back there. Battle for possession in the neutral zone. Sandine knocking it ahead. Everberg finds. Everberg trying to get it out front. There's a shot. What a save by Soderstrom on the point blank chance. And it is promptly sent down the ice. And icing will be called. The championship is not theirs, but they can feel it from here. Borgla trying to push things back to Engelholm. Out of the zone. Banked on the boards. In neutralize, Reforsch gains the line. Did well to do that. Salmonson on the ice at a critical time. Puck taken from him. Lundberg comes over. Sent to the line. Kapla is there. He'll put it down deep. Race for it. Reforsch there. Salmonson there. Rogla to the line for Kapla. Kapla can't get it deep. Here's a chance to put it away. Max Lindholm is in! And he's done it! Max Lindholm has triggered the celebrations in Chilefteo. off the boards and out the second drain it is over Sheffield SHL champions for the fourth time in club history the first time in 10 years they're at the top of the heap Every game in the series had been decided by a goal. They needed an empty netter to put this one away. Confirm victory and see separation by more than a goal between the teams for the first time in the matchup. It ended in five games, but it was extremely competitive between these two. And you can see the hurt on the other side. Again, the playoffs, two in the play-in against Tim Rowe. They knocked out the top team in the regular season, Feriestad in the quarterfinal in four straight. Then took four games to get rid of the champions from a season ago in Bequa. Had not lost a game until reaching the final, and then they hit this juggernaut. Shelefteo dealing with all sorts of adversity due to injury, suspension, and they just kept playing. Next man up. Backed by superb goaltending, impressive depth on the blue line. It started with a split here, and then Rogla took it from there. 3 2 on Thursday, down south, 2 1 in overtime on Saturday in Engelholm, and tonight's 2 0 impressive performance. They came out with a purpose in this one. Rogla had the better starts in every game in the series. That'll be a sore spot for them. They weren't able to turn those good starts into advantages. But tonight, Shalefto, wire to wire. On top, impressive. Making it clear with their actions. They wanted to see this thing wrap up, and they 
took care of that. Ninth final in 14 years, and they've got the championship once again. Previous titles for the club in 1978. And then the back-to-back -back wins, 2013 and 2014. And these players go through so much every year, even the ones that don't make it this far. Their off-season training, their work in the preseason, the long regular season for a team like this, the Champions League as well. And to be able to get themselves to this position and find a way it's truly something special. The memories will last a lifetime. At a club where success is expected, at a club where success has been a year in and year out thing, one thing has always escaped them until this night. Celebrating, wrapping up an SHL championship on home ice. Now they have done that. Two nothing winners against Rogla this evening, taking the series four games to one. Waiting for the trophy presentation, the medal presentation. But these players enjoying the moment, and these fans too. You talk about the investment of the players, how about the time, effort, and money put into it by the fans who show up week in and week out and support the team through the ups and the downs. And a special night all around. What a special playoffs it's been, really, for the SHL. This is the 29th consecutive sellout in SHL playoff action this spring in a year where the numbers were record numbers in the regular season two. SHL alive and well. Dylan Sakura injured in the second game, couldn't continue, but what an impact he made coming in this year to hockey in Sweden and taking a little time to adjust as you would expect, but by the time the playoffs came around, boy, oh boy, Dylan Sakura with nine points on the drive to the title for Shalafteo. <laughs> Just about set for the post-game ceremonies. Shalafdil with the victory, and uh, with that victory, by the way, also helping themselves in another pursuit, just kind of as a consequence of it. They qualify for the Champions Hockey League next season. The finalists this year earn a bid as champions of the SHL. They'll be joined by Feria Stad and Bequa in that terrific pan-European competition. Stefan Liev Memorial Trophy for playoff MVP will be handed out as well as the Lamad Trophy. Jenny Silverstrand, the CEO of the SHL on hand, along with other dignitaries. And the MVP has been announced. And it's that man, the goaltender, Linus Soderstrom. The victory tonight by shutout, a fitting conclusion to his impressive playoffs. A winner of the title in 2017 with HV71 back on top. Soderstrom came into the game with a .96 goals against average in the finals and a 9.66 save percentage. Those numbers get better, if you can believe it. And after last year when Emil Larmy was named the Stefan Liv Trophy winner, the first netminder to win it, we've got goaltenders two years in a row. 
tough to argue with that one as Soderstrom was so good throughout the playoffs. And his teammates sharing in the moment with the big man, once the draft pick of the New York Islanders. But from there, just could not find a way to turn good starts and good efforts into wins. And they'll skate away with their heads held high. Silver medalists in the SHL. And there will be expectations for the team now for next year. But that's what comes with playing well and having success. Playoffs. And the final ends in five games. But you can go back and look at the games. And so many close games. So many overtime games. So many long overtime games. I mean, it was a great playoff. And so many interesting stories. That just on top of a great regular season with so many interesting stories. Various dot, 104 points. Battles for playoff spots. Moto winning promotion and almost making it in the playoffs. A seven game series as far as who would stay in the league with HV71 surviving ahead of Oscar Sham. Scores of things to think about and enjoy as you think about this 23-24 SHL season. Regular season, the playoffs. Now with Rogla having exchanged pleasantries with Shalafteo. Leaving the surface, Shalafteo now will take that next step. Gold medals. Memories forever their places in club history assured. CEO Jenny Silverstrand there. It's got to be a, a great feeling for those responsible for the management of the SHL just to see the way everything is played out over the course of the regular season and the playoffs. 23-24 in the books. Just a team, if you're from the area. Oh, and by the way, not one person supporting the black and yellow has left this building. The Lamat Trophy. There's the captain, Per Lindholm. There's the regular captain, Jonathan Pudos, injured, stepping out to take part. Stand in captain, Per Lindholm is there. There's the trophy. And there are the smiles of the champions. Jonathan Pudos will do his best here with an arm and a sling. Up it goes. And there it is. Sheleftio. The last team standing. Their hands on the Lamat Trophy. Third in the regular season, number one in the playoffs. Closed it out with three consecutive wins, two of them on the road. But yes, finally, one last one at home. And Per Lindholm knows where he wants to put this one, right in front of those diehards. They come early, they stay late, they invest their time and their money, and they live and breathe with everything this team does, and he takes it right there. And no championship celebration is complete without that team picture. So they move the trophy down front and center. They've got the silver medals. They've got the smiles of champions. 
They've got the hearts of their fans. Kings of the SHL. Champions in 23-24.